John, it's awesome, man. It's Grace is back with the plum, and it is brilliant. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. The reason we were uttering, um, or suggesting that John has as good a job as we do, is because it's filmed in Brighton. I love a coastal cop drama. I, I just think they're better for it. I don't know what it is about the water, whether the water lends its wisdom to the investigation or whatever that may be. You know, it's lovely for sort of wide shots and things like that. Uh, but of course, it's great when you also live there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of travelling involved, and the hotel rooms and you know uh, rented flats and things so yeah it's great that is awesome all right for people who don't know who he is um who is he uh what's his journey been thus far lovely flashbacks love a flashback episode don't you? yeah he's a coastal detective and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's um where do we find him at the beginning of this one he's, he's yeah his wife's missing and has been now for 10 years and two series for two series <laughs> yes yeah and she's been cited actually at the end of the last one, I think she was. There was a sighting of her in Germany, yeah. and he thinks she's dead. He has her declared legally dead, and he thinks she's dead, and he's moving on with his life. And then uh, there's a sighting of her, and so that's still hanging over. And in this one, we see, um, yeah, flashbacks. So you see that their marriage wasn't exactly uh, rosy, and and you sort of get it's drip fed. You get hints um, of why um, she might have left. And also flashbacks to um, something that happened, which pertains to the particular mystery that um, this feature length episode, because all uh, graces are feature length. So they're all like two hours, they're all like films, which is why there are three per season. Um, you know, and again, it's, it's brilliant, it's gripping. It wears its twist very lightly on its sleeve, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And he's a bit like that, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a good guy. He's a, he's, it's nice to play a good, um, I mean, he's completely through and through a good guy. And and this one's a it's a cold case, um, which um, it was from a case they were investigating. Um, I think uh, at the Olympic it was the time of the Olympics, so like t I think ten years earlier. Um, and it's something that they never solved, and the guy's still on the run, and he thought he disappeared, um, but he's back. And he's so he's back doing the same thing, but in a different with a different ma in a different manner. If you yes, like. he is, and he doesn't know whether it is him, but all the all, all the signs point to that it is him. You and know, there so. are the red herrings, and then yeah, there are assailants and their assistants. And all. Yeah, you can't yeah, say yeah. too. We can't. Say, <laughs> can't yeah, no, it's no. so mad to talk about it, isn't it? It's so crazy to talk about it. What else would you like to say about about the first? No, I, well, it's, they're all standard alone novels um, based on the novels of Peter James so they're all kind of you know um, you can you can I think you can dip in if you like there is a through line um, you, can of, definitely, you can definitely dip in yeah yeah 100%. they're different cases every time um, and so yeah yeah hopefully it'll be a gripping thriller you know to, to watch because on a you Sunday. are a uh, son of Brighton um, you you and you you live there um, what is the vibe like when when Grace is being filmed what does it bring to Brighton as a place um, how are the locals with it? Because if I went to Brighton and you were filming your thing, I would love it. Um, some people wouldn't, of course, because there are some people uh, wake up with the grievance looking for a cause, and you might be their cause one day. <laughs> yeah. uh, how is it? How is that? Uh, the general vibe is great. Mm. They love it. I mean, because Peter James is a bit of a hero in Brighton. Right. He's like their local, you know, superstar really, and and they love his books. And every time we film in a location, there's always Peter James's books, and everyone's got them. So generally, it's um, really, really well loved. And generally, they're very lovely, <laughs> unless we're filming like a night shoot in someone's street and then maybe not so lovely um, because we're making lots of noise and there's lights everywhere yeah. and, you know so um, some of the cast have fallen in love with Brighton so much from making the show there they've relocated yeah. is that right <laughs> yeah we're all moving yeah we're all getting there uh, well I, we moved there a couple of years ago because I mean I was in London for like 35 years and so and we moved and it was just a happy accident because this job came up and so it was kind of serendipity, really. Um, and we're loving it there. And Craig Parkinson, who plays Norman Potting, has just moved to Brighton. Who is my favourite? Is that am I allowed to say that? Of course you are. He's yeah. so cool, isn't yeah. he? Your second favourite. Yeah, no, well, he's my favourite. <laughs> no, he really is. Um, <laughs> well, love that. But what's great about him is he does because you want more of him, and that's the great. That's yeah. the that's the that's the genius of the part, the, the genius of the role, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's a lovely guy. Because he's, he's a lot of fun. He seems to have funny bones. He does. He does. Yeah. Before we started, I I like you know just went mad on the books. I I devoured about twelve of them. Um, 
And then I had to stop because when we started filming, I got really confused about which case I was supposed to be <laughs> yeah. solving. Um, so I had to stop. I had, it was too much grace in my head. I thought, I'll, I'll just be him in the daytime and I won't read about him in the nighttime. So, um, yeah, I had to stop the book. So I, I'm stuck on about 12. Okay. Um, and we'll, we'll catch up soon because we're, we're doing four more. We start filming soon. Brilliant. Four more novels this year and hopefully next year. So um, we, we've got to hope that Peter James keeps cracking these books out. <laughs> uh, and he's, at the moment, it's one a year. Yeah, so he's, he's pretty prolific. Well, they're not easy, are they? I don't suppose. Have you, have you got a techie, a detective's brain now? Because you're around this, or does, does that just not happen? Uh, but I just pretend. No, no, I know that. I don't know that's your job. But like some people, if you work on, apparently if you work on Call the Midwife, you can deliver a baby. <laughs> um, you know, the kind of, do, you, do you get that? Is there any kind of um, neuroplasticity work going yeah, on? I would, yeah, I, I, get, I know what you mean. I guess so, yeah. I mean, I, I, I live him like most of the year, actually. So it takes forever to film. So I'm constantly, I mean, what I do, I've, I'm just learning lines the whole time. I've right. just got scripts in my hand and learning lines. And when we do the CID stuff, which is really hard to learn because it's all information and lists and names and please speak. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just, it's, you know, it's, it fries your brain a little bit. So, yeah. They're feature length episodes. So they're like a film. Films take forever to make. How long does um, one episode of Grace take to make? Uh, I think one episode would be five weeks. Right, so it's still it's still a reasonable amount of time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's with and now we're doing four, so it's literally most of the year. Actually, I don't think we'll be finished until October. Is that time. a relief for you as an actor, even at your level? You know, to have to have a full year of, um, of knowing you're going to work. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, yeah. you know, I've got to my age, and just to be working is 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 brilliant. Yeah. You know, and I, I love it. I'm really lucky, like you. I do a job that I love, so yeah. I feel blessed, really. John's great to see you, man. Thank you. You great too, to Chris. You. Always great to see you. I'd love